If you do not understand what's going on in the world of name, image, and likeness, this is for you. So name, image, and likeness rules have created a lawsuit in the state of North Carolina, which is impacting the uh, Tennessee volunteers as well. So name, image, and likeness rules are different from state to state for high school athletes. Some don't allow it at all. And some states allow a player to capitalize on their own name, image, and likeness as long as they don't advertise the school that they play for. And then some states are just a free for all. And this has led to high school athletes leaving states like Texas to go to California or leaving North Carolina to go to California and all of this stuff. Well, here's the thing about North Carolina. They have a unique setup because they actually have two different athletic associations that govern high school athletics. One of them is made up of mostly private schools, and then you have one that's made up of mostly public schools. The North Carolina Independent Schools Athletic Association, they actually changed their bylaws before last year to allow athletes to capitalize on their name, image, and likeness. And the best example of that being put to use has been five-star offensive tackle David Sanders. He just committed to Tennessee recently. And Sanders, who is represented by WME, which is William Morris Endeavor, which is one of the biggest agencies around, right before his commitment, he announced that his personal NIL store would feature merchandise in the team colors that he was committing to. And then that brings us to his counterpart in the same state. 2026, instead of 2025, but 2026, five-star quarterback Faison Brandon, who actually plays for a public school in North Carolina called Grimsley. Now, Faison is also committed to Tennessee, but according to North Carolina's High School Athletic Association, which is the other governing body in the state, which governs the majority of the public schools, now Brandon can't engage in the marketplace the same way that David Sanders is. And now Faison Brandon's mother is suing North Carolina Board of Education and the Department of Public Instruction. Now, the lawsuit says that her son was forced to turn down NIL money by a prominent national trading card company, which we believe to either be Tops or Fanatics, just to remain enrolled in public school and to continue playing along his teammates. Now, as a dad, I would be doing exactly what this mom is doing. If you are impeding on my kid's ability to make money, that is a problem especially when other people that go to private schools in the state, they can. Why is that? But then if I transfer to the private schools, oh, now all of a sudden you'll be like what California, IMG, other places are where you have kids transferring and the public school system is actually at a deficit, just like in, in the state I live in, in California. The public schools don't have the same resources, class sizes, all of this stuff that the private schools have. So the best football in the state of California, for the most part, is at the private schools, particularly in Southern California. Now, before we just beat up the North Carolina High School Athletic Association, this isn't their fault. Now, it's important to know that their board of directors actually did approve a policy over a year ago that would allow high school athletes in North Carolina to pursue and profit off their name, image, and likeness opportunities. So you're wondering, George, how, okay, so if they did it, what's the problem? Well, before that rule could be cemented into place, the North Carolina State House and State Senate, they passed Senate Bill 452. So look that up, Senate Bill 452, in North Carolina. Now, the bill was meant to increase mandatory minimum insurance limits for North Carolina motorists for the first time in 24 years, which, for whatever reason, was going to pass with flying colors. But this is what happens in politics all the time, is that people put other stuff in bills, they sneak it in on stuff that is going to for sure pass. But what actually happened is North Carolina Republicans added to the bill language that then stripped the North Carolina High School Athletic Association of its decision-making power over the issues like NIL and subjected the NCHSAA to annual audits. And most importantly, the conservative state government of North Carolina allowed the government to define the rules for biological participation requirement. So that's right. Faison Brandon can't cash NIL checks and play for his public school because North Carolina Republicans 
because they were trying to keep biological men out of women's sports. Okay, so you're like, okay, okay, that makes sense, right? No, the issue is, is that they used a bill about auto insurance minimums to make that happen. And now there is a big backlash on it when it comes to NIL and the public schools. Cause I'm not here to tell you what to believe in or how you feel. I have stated how I felt ab about that issue in another video. I'm just telling you what happened. Now, North Carolina politicians in an attempt to expand the government control over the state athletic association, they restricted its residents ability to participate in a free market unless they enroll in private school governed by an entirely different athletic association. But just because the state took control doesn't mean that they just can't find common sense solutions for public school kids, right? You, you would think like that would make sense. Wrong. Because North Carolina, the Board of Education, then put rules into place that started on July 1st of this year that banned public appearances or commercials, autograph signings, athletic camps or clinics, the sale of NFTs, non-fungible token, product or service endorsements, and promotional activities indulging in personal and social media advertising. What? So you're intentionally hurting the public school kids. So somebody has a vested interest in this in the state of North Carolina. So this has to be brought to the light. His mom, who is suing she actually wants a preliminary and a permanent injunction to allow NIL for public high school athletes. And that in her son's specific case, not allowing for NIL has meant that the quarterback has missed out on potentially millions of dollars that Brandon has no guarantee of ever recouping. And then you got North Carolina's Department of Public Instruction that has told his mom Rolanda's representatives that the process to revise the rule will take a full year but that's exactly why they want this injunction right now and this is the issue this goes to socioeconomic issues private school costs money this is something that has to be fixed and is 100 percent wrong 100 percent wrong